two, three, four. I can't sleep tonight. Everybody's saying everything is all right. Still I can't close my eyes I'm seeing a tunnel at the end of all these lights Sunny days Where have you gone? I get the strangest feeling You belong Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17 Why does it always rain on me? Even when the sun is shining I can't avoid the lightning No, when in the blue skies go No, why is it raining so cold? It's so Hey, Drew James here with another guitar lesson. This one, sing and play. Why does it always rain on me? 90s classic from Travis. Great song. Okay, so we're gonna grab our capo. We're gonna stick it on the second fret to make it sound like the band. Doesn't matter if you don't have a capo, it just means you shouldn't be playing along with the band. And for those of you that are singing this, which I imagine many of you will be, the capo might be a bit too high up for your voice. So take it off, lower it. That's the whole point in the capo. So uh, we're gonna look into it. It's a few simple open chords and one bar chord to test you guys, which I'll be taking you through. Let's start learning how to play it now. To play this with the band, you're gonna to need to grab a capo and put it on fret two. That might be a bit too high for your voice if you're looking to sing and play this. So in that case, maybe experiment with one or taking the capo off altogether. But I'll be leaving it on fret two for today. So this song has a number of chords. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you what those chords are, if, and then I'm gonna show you how to play them. If you know how to do them already, then I've just included a little bit of link in the video to skip along so you can get started with the rhythm and the order of chords. So the chords that you're gonna need are D, A minor, G, G over F sharp, which is basically a G but fret two. Uh, we're talking about a folk G with the ring and pinky. E minor seven. Okay, the other chord you're going to need is going to be an A. And the other final chord you'll need is, the, well, two other chords, A suspended fourth and B minor. Okay, so if you know how to do those chords and you're confident on those, then please, uh, I've just included some links, skip along. If not, I'll take you through each chord right now. So your D chord, you're going to be putting your index finger on fret two, so fret one, fret two, on the Eddie 8 Dynamite Good, so Eddie 8 Dynamite Good by Eddie. So on the G string, your middle finger on fret two on the E string, and your ring finger on fret three on the B string. On those fingertips, bring the thumb round a little, strum the bottom four. The A minor, index finger on fret one, on the B string, middle finger on fret two on the D, and ring finger on fret two also, it's a nice little wedge, all linked together on the G string. Strum the bottom five. The G, so for this we need what I call the folk G. Uh, so that's index finger on fret one on the A string, middle finger on fret three on the thicker string, ring finger on fret three, and pinky finger on fret three. Nice, good locked link of fingers. Strum all six. Now while we're here with this, we're gonna do the G over F sharp or G forward slash F sharp. All that means is you leave this wedge of fingers here, but take your index finger, put it on fret two on the thickest string. And ideally with this finger, lay it flat and lazy so that that finger string is muted and strum all six. So that's your G over F sharp. E minor seven, it's a nice little change from here as well. If you hold, do an E minor as normal, so that's fret two on the A string and the D string with the index in the middle, and leave your ring finger on fret three, so left over from that last chord, we could just leave it on the B string, strum all six. The A chord, where I like to use pinky finger on fret two, 
on the B string, ring finger on fret two on the G, and middle finger on fret two also on the D string, and you strum the bottom five. Why do I prefer those fingers? Because I find it hard to get these fingers inside fret two, especially when the capo's where it is, because the frets get smaller and we run out of space. Another passing chord from the A is called a suspended fourth, A suspended fourth. Just take your pinky finger and slide it out to fret four, uh, fret three on the B string. If you're doing it this way, slide the ring finger out. Or some of you might have been doing it this way, still the ring finger. And the B minor. Well, the B minor is what makes this song in slightly more intermediate territory. You're going to press down the bottom five strings. You don't need the thickest string with your bar finger. If you're getting into bars and you've been barring everything anyway, then by all means leave it up there, but you don't need to. Then middle finger on fret three on the B string, ring finger on fret four on the D, and pinky finger also on the same fret underneath. All wedged together, strum the bottom five. Hopefully you've got that. So now we can get into the strumming pattern and how we play the song, right? So this is the intro of the song, played slowish. So we're starting with a D chord, and the main strumming pattern for this song that we're going to be using pretty much throughout, I mean there are changes, but pretty much, is down, 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 up, down, up. It's actually just, I just realised it's played with a bit of swing, so that's down, up, down, up. So it's down, 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 down. Same with A minor. Then G, we go down, down. Then G over F sharp. So it's And then the E minor seven. I like to do this rhythm. So let's do that again. That's actually what happens in the song, it repeats. So we go down, down. So take a D chord, strum it slowly. It's called a rake. When we go down the string slowly, so not, but so push your plectrum in and glide down the strings. And you're gonna strum and hold that. Then into a B minor. So you've got the good thing about this as a bar chord transitional song, and you learning your bar chords, is you've got loads of time to make that B minor. You could just lift the D up early. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, B minor, two. Now what you could do is a bar chord training exercise. You could say, right, well, I'm going to try and hold that D down for at least four of the eight that I need to. So I've got four more beats to make my B minor. Or you can just try and do the, make the B minor straight away. Everybody's saying everything is all right. Then we've got D again. We basically do the same thing. Close my eyes, B minor. I'm seeing a tunnel at the end of all these. And on the word lights, we come into G and we go back to our default rhythm. Down, 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 into A. Down, 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 down. We're going to repeat that. G, where have you A? Okay. So seeing a tunnel at the end of all these. G. G with a down up, then G over F sharp, down up, then E minor 7. You go, feel it, you go. Then for the word belong, you just move this index and middle finger down a set of strings to be make it become an A suspended fourth. Nice, easy, quick change, yes? Down, 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 down up, then into A. 
Okay, so I'll go from I get the strangest feeling. I get the Back to our regular rhythm pattern and we're into the chorus. So it's T Um, that is your chorus, right? I'll do it without the vocal. Verse 2, and you'd be doing exactly the same thing, strumming and holding the D for 8 beats, B minor for 8 beats, and it's essentially a complete repeat of the first verse, so you just need to skip back if you need to do that again. So there is just one other part that we need to look at in this song, apart from the outro, and that is this, when you come out of the chorus the second time, I can't find the we've got this new midsection where we come from this E minor 7, straight away into the B minor. So here's my E minor, notice how my index finger stays close into the B minor. So the bridge, we're gonna go B minor, down, 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 up, D, down, 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 B minor, down, 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 D, down, 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 down. Okay, so it's basically B minor and D twice. And I'll do it with a little bit of vocal so we know where we are. We've got this little descending bass line, so we're going to do half bars. Don't worry if you don't know what that means, I'll show you. So it's a C chord. Sorry, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. C chord here, so index middle on first fret on the B, middle on second fret on the D, and ring finger on third fret on the A. Down, down, up. Then all I want you to do to this chord for a C over B, it's called, is lift up the ring, put the middle finger up here, leave that where it is. So you're on the A string on the second fret. Down, down, up. So you've got C, C over B. Move your middle finger down, leave that one there for an A minor 7 chord, another one I forgot to mention. So we go C, C over B, A minor 7. Now it all sounds complicated, but really your index finger stays where it is. We do a C chord, move your middle finger up to the A string on fret 2, then just move it down to fret 2 on the D string. And then finally a C over G, so leave this... Um, index and middle here and put your ring on fret 3 on the A string and your uh, pinky on fret 3 on the A string and your ring finger on fret 3 on the thicker string and you just do it for down, down, up. Now if that's too hard then you can by all means just do a C chord again but it's optional. So you've got it's raining so C over B the word cold, you're back to A suspended fourth. So I'll recap the full bridge from the B minor now. So we go So we've already done that already, and then another chorus, and then another bridge, that's the this bit that we just learned, and then another chorus. And then right on this outro, this is the last bit on the last chorus, we've got... Then we 
we've just got this G, G over F sharp, E minor 7. as we had in the intro that's D A minor G G over F sharp E minor 7 but it just finishes on a D chord and the vocal is a little different so and that is our that's the end of the song okay so I've gone into detail I showed you the rhythm patterns have fun with it it's a really good song if you're looking to improve your bar chords because that B minor being thrown in there really kind of um, makes the song a good test so enjoy and keep on playing